Howdy y'all, it's your host Road. Welcome back to Love It Games. We are playing a little Final Fantasy 13 today. I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. On our last episode, we defeated Bartholus here in Orba and he summoned an airship. We are going to go back here while we're still in Pulse and or Grand Pulse, I should say. And we're going to continue doing some Seath missions, so that means we're going to have to backtrack a lot. So we backtrack to the top of the schoolhouse, and we're about to see what that Seath mission is, and then we're going to have to keep backtracking throughout the game. So uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of stuff over again. But at the same time, we're going to be opening up new areas, finding more treasure, upgrading our people, getting more CP. I just went through and blew out all uh, the CP I got from that battle, leveled everybody up as much as I could, but we're going to continue on, so I hope you enjoy. We're going to hop right back to it, and uh, let's see what we can get into. This is the schoolhouse, and here's the sea stone. 55, can't we all just get along? The Neo Chu, the Archelos Steppe, Agoras Pasture. New variety of Uchu dubbed the Neo Chu has sprung up in Agora's pasture. This pest has been driving the garden variety Uchu out of its limited habitat straight into the jaws of extinction. Needless to say, my focus appears to eliminate the Neo Chu before it can succeed. Why did a fallacy seek to solve every problem by having it killed? Can't they craft a world where we can all get along? This is far away. We are going for a hike. A very, very long away distant hike. Luckily there's a teleport thing right over there. We should be able to get a few hundred thousand CP out of all the Seath missions that are left and all the battles we end up having to do. Which will help progress us, make us stronger. I bet we get close to a million CP out of what's left. Yeah, you are. Alright, we want to teleport. I'm trying to think, what is the closest? Probably the northern. That brought us here. We have to go way over. All of them are open and on now. Cool. That's a good sight. Sign. That one's on. Alright, we have a lot of missions we can do. And we have a chocobo friend. What's up, my chocobo friend? I'm going You're way over there. The other one probably would have been closer. That's new. What is that big dude? Is 
I don't know if you see it, it looks like there's a Titan in the background. Way over here. Nice seeing all the sea stones up. Okay, I just saw a glimpse of the Titan again. Ugh, the camera's auto movement's kind of harsh right here. Here we go. There we go. We got him staggered. Is it no 2.6 million health? I mean, we're hitting it for massive numbers. Two thousand Chris crystalline gives us a growth egg. What is a growth egg? That seems really good. That seems really, really good. Alright. That's open. That'll probably open up that area. There's a lot to go on. I don't want to just clear out section by section. Cacti. I would like to open up the rest of the map here, so we're gonna run down here.
What do you got? Number 30, Sifix the Insidious. Marhabara Abandoned Day. The Undying Fearsome Seed who defy Foul Sea will be driven by an intense loathing of all that lives. Sphinx the Insidious is the number of is of their number, a number I am tasked to bring down. The mark dwells in the abandoned dig layer deep in the bowels of Mahabara. He's a treacherous foe, so be sure, but I must overcome it if I am to see my crystallized beloved again. Alright. Where? Way the heck up there. Right. Yeah. Man, that's a long way to walk. At least we got the chocobo. Yeah, this should start opening up, we should be able to start whipping through these missions fairly quickly. <sighs> Cacti. one point I'll probably do it off camera. I'll have to run through the whole land and see if I can find all the dig sites. I would like to get all of them dug up. It's literally gonna be me kind of grid going through the entire area out here. You know what? I could go this way. Teleport. Not up here. Not up here. Dude, it shows you going crazy. Like, all over. Slowing down. Speeding back up. I'm not trying to go up. Not trying to go up. Not trying to go up. Alright, well, we're not looking for this one anymore. We're gonna just keep going. Somewhere this way. Like there's a teleport stone somewhere over here. Alright, where, where? 
you're active or not. You show way over there. How do I get way over there? I ride this guy. He is not over here. So he's way over there. I mean, I could try taking that and see if that takes me somewhere near him. Luckily, these guys are kind of slow. I have to get my fangs into these guys. Well, that wasn't scary at all. That's how it's done. I think I'm like five, six times as strong as I was when I first came through here. Should no longer have a foul sea flying around pissing us off because we killed them. Out since you're kind of in the walkway. I'm curious if uh, you viewers have played any of the Final Fantasies, and if you have, which one is your favorite? I mentioned in a previous episode, Final Fantasy X was my first Final Fantasy I played. And I did enjoy it, and I liked Final Fantasy X too more than regular Final Fantasy. But I have to say, my favorite of the series has been Final Fantasy XIII. I uh, did Final Fantasy Online when it first came out. Me and two of my co-workers literally plowed through, max leveled, every quest within like two or three months. And then after that we stopped playing. That was when like the max level I think was 50? Now it's at I think 90 or something. Tempted to go back and replay it because I got tons of coworkers who still play. But I don't know if it's worth it or not. So I'm kind of curious if any of y'all have played the new Final Fantasy Online, like when how it's updated. It's worth hopping right back into. I'm also curious what your favorite Final Fantasy is, as. There are so many, so many remakes.
It'd just be uh, interesting to know. There's a bunch that I've always wanted to play. I've wanted to try Final Fantasy VII because everybody loves Final Fantasy VII. Like, there is so much fan art of Final Fantasy VII, and I know none of the characters or stuff really about it. it was just getting started. But I also want to play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I heard that one is a blast. I love, like, RPGs like this. Where you basically, you fill up your tech tree, crystal tree, however you call it. And your characters become insanely powerful. You're still there. How do I get to you way over there? going the right way. Maybe this guy will double back. I think I just rode him straight through beforehand. This is like the outside of Tension Tower. It is. That's not where we're trying to go. This is somewhere different. Where am I now? That's the teleport stone, so it's literally on the other side of that. We must have overlooked something. Well, this is different looking. Alright, ah, we've already battled these before. So, which path takes us? Probably the left one, but we'll go right first. Now I'm curious if we missed any items over here. We're getting a lot of bones too, so we're going to end up upgrading a bunch of stuff here in a bit. Noogle Puppet. Huh. 
I don't know if we've got the multicolored one. Do we? Yeah, we do. Got yeah, 10,300 CP for that. Alright, so it looks like both of them may take me where I'm trying to go. You know what I say? Going right usually takes you to the right place. Oh, don't kill him in one shot. Don't kill him in one shot. Alright. We did it. Yeah, if I can continue to grow our channel and but not I'd love to be able to buy another graphics card and maybe do another Red Dead playthrough. I realized after I uploaded it, it, being one of our first long series, that the buffer processing actually lagged the video, even though the game never once lagged when I was recording it. Like, most of those videos have a little bit of a lag. But I'd love to just replay it, play it as a bad character, maybe. Bad cowboy. Hey, we can upgrade a weapon or item with that. I'm rocking a 1070 in my desktop here and a 4070 in my laptop. Guys walking all stealthily. Not sure what I other big long series I want to do next. But I would definitely take some recommendations. I mean, heck, this kind of makes me want to play a Final Fantasy 13 too. I will say Final Fantasy, basically what they call 13-3 Lightning Returns, is such a different style of game. I like it, but at the same time, it is very difficult because the entire game is time-based and you're very, very restricted. kill these things really quickly. There we go. I don't know why that took so long. Yeah, we only got four stars out of it. The other one does not connect. And I was just getting started. Nice. Figure if they're giving us a save point, might as well use it. And we'll bust out some crystal. Ah, I'm sure we're strong enough. Stay 
Dude, there's so many of them. Why? Wow. Sixty thousand. Hey, hey, you're on midnight. That was number 30. Particle accelerator. Perfect conductor. Alright, so we have to back travel all the way to there. I want to see what... Oh yeah, there's a sea stone. Oh, there's sea stones right here. I think we just battled 26 different enemies. But, yeah, I'm probably gonna put this up after my Tells Us Phonia series, because that was a lot of fun. And then, uh, I also have GTA San Andreas. I should be going through at the same time. I'm kinda curious what people would think about a GTA 5 or GTA 4 playthrough. It's only if people really want it. GTA 4 I like, but it's never been a game that I've gone through in one like setting of playthrough through the whole story. I'd usually play it, stop playing for a few months, come in, play it again, stop playing it for a few months until I beat the game. Same thing with GTA 5. There's just so much content. It would definitely be a long playthrough series if I did it. But, you know, GTA 6 is supposed to come out 2025. We've done Vice City and we've done San Andreas. I'll also do GTA 3, but GTA 3 is really dark. And I have a hard time seeing being vision impaired. Don't know how well that'll come across in the recording because I have a really hard time seeing on that game. We need to go to the right path. Yeah, GTA 3 is, uh, what is it, uh, Liberty City, the old Liberty City. GTA 4 is Liberty City, uh, more of a early 2000s. Yeah, there's like internet cafes and stuff. You play Nico Bellic. You're like Claude or something like that in GTA 3. You got all you? Trust, trust. Easy. Of course you. You have to switch. Way stronger than the pudding allows.
Yeah, because I don't want you to kill them immediately. I want to be able to scan one. I uh, thought about doing some Saints Row. I love some Saints Row. The various Saints Row games, they're a lot of fun. I feel like they're fun to watch. The recent Saints Row that came out by uh, Epic last year, well it's not by Epic, it was just exclusive to Epic for a year. I do have, I got it on Steam as soon as it came to Steam. They got horrible reviews on Epic, but it's gotten good reviews on Steam, which is odd. Kinda curious about potentially doing a playthrough of that, if anyone's curious. Bombs, bombs. Dude, this went way further back than I thought it did. I might have a lot of upgrading to do because we we're gathering a lot of materials. I'm doing it off camera. Actually, I need to make sure we're actually. We're maxed out. Crap. Yeah, I need to upgrade, sell, break up some of our various items, but we can't hold anymore. Get ready for the next fight. Same thing we saw, yeah, same thing we saw on Tangine's Tower. Got him. Amplifier. You're 53, freedom from fear. The Yakas Mastiff, the Pass of Padra, Class A. Curse my luck, I've lost it again. Last I saw, I was heading in the direction of where? The southern part of the Yakas Mastiff, perhaps. Damn that Zer. Zernitra? Zer it's wonderless. It caused me so much trouble. I think I have to kill it even if it weren't my focus. And be a crystal when I do. I think I better concentrate on the present and forget about what's to come. This is going to be a long walk. If you're walking it from here, yeah. I have to work my way all the way back to the teleport stone. Ah. 
gaining a lot of crystal too. We're maxed out on the uh, equipment we can carry. Probably maxed out on the materials too. See what we can do with some of this crystal real quick. definitely gaining a lot. Yeah, that, that actually went a lot further than I had imagined it would have. We're going to be ready to start stockpiling CP to, for our next level up when that's available. If we keep up this uh, Seath missions like this. got a long way to walk. As we get to Atmos though, we can get across him. I don't know if I have to go to the Eugene's Tower again just to warp out or if it'll let me just cross between Atmos. I'm gonna try to avoid some unnecessary battles just if I can just to make our way back. Yeah, all the Final Fantasies have quite a bit of backtracking. If you wanna try to do everything, level up everything. I'd like to get the item hunter achievement of having one of every item. Or of have one of every item. That's how it's done. Curious how far along we actually are on that. I do upgrade. I try to do the upgrades off camera because it does take quite a while. It's not expecting the level 30 mission to lead to like level 56 mission. The cool thing is we're going to be getting to uh, eventually do a mission where we go battle that titan dude I think. I do need to sell, but I'd rather sell do all that in a different area. <laughs> Teleport. I want to say it was this one? Could be this one. Oh, the first one.
Oh, so it is going that way. So maybe it is the second one. Are there any other... Any missions over here? None of those lifted up. It is this way. I'm curious, can you see the crystal from here? No. I know we're gonna have to come back here. I'm gonna pause it for a second. Alright, I had to go on an upgrading and dismantling spree of a bunch of items because I was not going to be able to collect anything anymore. But now we're going to run back and try to kill this star guy over here. See if we can do it without activating these guys. We should be a lot more uh, buffed up right now because of everything. Upgraded our uh, Warriors bands all, all the way up to Kaiser. Lasering out of it. All right, nothing back there. We'll warp back up to that top one. See if anything popped up. We've done so many missions now out of order because we couldn't figure out where the uh, end piece was for them. Ooh, dodge. Ninjit was it ninjutsu? There's this thing where, over here. The sea stone standing up, but the sea stones don't offer a mission. There's only three of them standing up right now, so I'm kind of curious what that is. When we first came through, there was none. Then, after doing a bunch of missions, there was one. Now there's three. Alright, from here... Nothing over there. You fade away. That's going down. Nothing really worth checking in this section. Teleport. Base camp. See that section. Alright. No, oh, looks like we got everything over here. Alright, Central Expanse. Yeah, we'll go there. Alright. 
So we're looking for 29. But there's a few over here. At least three. Got six, seven of them right there. There's one way down there. I don't like to get that one, just get it out of the way. That's a long way to run for that. I think we're gonna go do some of these seven. Get this chocobo to go though. It's going crazy. There's something up here. Now oh, we'll just go to Chocobo hit by accident. Oh, you big old armatos. Let's see. Sixty two, the indomitable will. The Rakatavija. I have no idea if I said that right. Archetype is Steppy, Central Expanse, Class A. The soul is the soul is meant to be. Resist not the flow of its will, and all shall be ordained. Read it with the whatever will wavering life cycle once again. What is this? That is odd. Way down there. What do you think? I think some big titan monster looking guy just screamed at us. And now it's foggy. I headed more to the left. Ah, this smell. You just dismount on the ground. How much health does this thing have? Two million. 
if we can bust down a chill. As we did with the other one. There it goes. Hundred thousand. The Genji glove. Um, how do I get down without a chocobo? Long jump. There's no chocobo near me. See if you're still worth five thousand XP. You're not the same one. No. Well, you're worth 9,000. I'm not seeing any chocobo feathers anywhere right now. This one over here. There's a chocobo. I wish I could call you as a pet. Not even see him. Number 52, head in the clouds. Z or Nertra. Mark be a steppy, Easter tours. Spider Man, dream of flying. Why must we be without wings? True. A nest of vipers hangs in our sky. Yet the sky, the province of all harmful to life, still. Would I gladly soar amongst the clouds? What a cruel irony then that I should be charged with spying a wing Zer Nitra. Regardless, I had best head to the eastern tours, and again, Crystal cannot fly, as some seeds can. missing like a bunch of missions. I don't know where they are. Because I mean, we're finding stuff in the 50s and 60s and we have, don't have 29 and 31 through most of the 50s. Straight ahead.
I didn't see the little cactus. Wait, what is... There's something up here? Come on, big dragon face. I can't go to you, so you have to go to me. It makes it much easier to tell which ones you done when they glow like that. Bust a little crystal real quick. Let's look at the map. We've got these seven here. Three back there. Like that's blocking off another section of the game. Don't see any more ones in the central area here. We'll go ahead and start another one of these. A toothy grin, the Yakis Mastiff. We have to go way back. The Ascent Sharp. Fresh in the soul creates ripples that travel far and wide. Those ripples quicken the life throughout the creation. In treat with the Ungala, these heavy footfalls forth mighty waves and become one of its circle here again. This teleport stone's way the heck over there. We don't have our chocobo. There is one right there. Honestly, it's a good point to call it an episode. We'll go hunting on the next episode. So thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. See you guys in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. God bless.